All right, let's try to make this video short. It's about control points. I get questions a lot, and not just from the people that are our new hires. Um, sorry, playing a little music in the background. But uh, ask a lot about control points. So this way I look at it. Let's say these black, big black dots here, that's part of our boundary, let's say. So let's say we have four um, center line intersection points. We do our boundary, be it uh, with GPS or by set, you know, setting up and turning angles, however way you do it. So once you've done the boundary, once you've tied into a benchmark and you know, you've done a level circuit around and everything, um, I like to refer to that as our original control. And then I go to the next step, which is, I call it first generation control. So once the job starts, um, now here in Southern California, we don't do that much rough grade. What we do is we set some perimeter points around, um, around the job site, maybe a couple inside, and the graders um, attach to those uh, points with their GPS and they do all the grading. Maybe later on we do the, uh, we do like pad certification or um, rough grade certs, street certs, but uh, we don't really stake that much rough, uh, rough grade anymore or at all. Uh, so this, this first generation control, you know, it could be points on the curb, it could be, um, uh, you know, pipe or um, hubs or whatever on, on the job site. But this first generation control, as I like to refer to it as, um, is set off of our boundary. So it ties in tight with our boundary points. I'm not gonna set up in an intersection and um, stake walls and, and what have you. That's gonna come from our first generation control. And that lasts as long as it, um, as long as it possibly can, uh, you know, uh, and then once something has to be replaced or let's say we have to do work over here in this area and there's walls now here, there's houses being built or whatever, then any control that's set from the first generation, then call it second generation control. So it still fits within, within itself on the first generation, but it's not really tied to the original boundary. And after second generation, um, anything after that, so I haven't read uh, like working points or uh, temporary points, I'll put those in the data collector. So let's say, um, yeah, I'm going to use purple. Um, so let's say, uh, I don't know, there's a, there's a wall that needed to be staked and came out like this. And for some reason, I can only, uh, that's the only piece left that I that I can't get from my, from my control point here. Let's say I'm there. I'm backsighting that one, and for some reason, yeah, let's say there's another perimeter wall or something like that there. So I may set out another point, and it's just a temporary point or a working point, just to set just to set that line. Um, and I put TP or WP in there just to show the next people if they come up to it that it's not really tied to anything. It was just used to finish the job. Um, so it may not be that tight, you know, these, like our first generation control, we'll, we'll do a level circuit around, um, we'll turn angles or, you know, check our GPS and, uh, second generation is done primarily just with the instrument, but any kind of working point or a temporary point, they're just, um, they're just sprayed out. So I hope that kind of helps on how some people set control points again. I think about the original control and then our first generation points set off of that original control and then we may have second generation points when these start getting destroyed or the job starts building and then working points and uh, temporary points. So that's it. Survey on.